在 IWC 的展台上面，我们有一个非常特别的服务，就是你可以选择你的颜色，选择你想要的饮料。It's a wonderful color for the ceramic priest. Yes, indeed. So, you know, when we started to work um, with our colleagues in US Naval Aviation, we traveled to a lot of different air bases, and they're all situated around Nevada and California. And as you drive along, you experience these breathtaking landscapes, and the vastness of them is just so inspirational. And basically, when I once had to go back from Fallon all the way to LA by car, you drive along that route, you drive through the Sierra Peaks, you see that vast open landscape, the crisp blue sky, then the Mojave Desert Death Valley as you're driving through. And that really inspired us to go further than just black watches and introduce these ceramic colors. And Tahoe was really reflecting that matte white contrasty crispness that we find in that environment is so unique. We know so many greens in the world and there's people catching up the trend of the green. And to find the right tone of the green to suit the, the spirit of the IWC, how do you like working on with the team? Yeah, it's an excellent question. So the green was by far the most challenging process because you're right there, 50 shades of green already in the watch industry. We wanted a really monochromatic look that sits somewhere between a military-inspired olive and a deep dark green. So we wanted to go right in the middle. And the, the, the trick to it is to find different textures and different materials coming together in a kind of symphony of color. So now when you look at this watch in the side elevation, it is perfectly monochromatic. And then as you go closer and the textures open up and the light hits it, you have different shades. And that somewhere in between that olive sage color of the flight suit and the deep dark green of the forest is where we wanted to get to. And it took a fair few attempts until we were happy. And when we found Woodland, and I tried it in different lights and outfits. It's just such a versatile green because it hasn't got quite a pop of racing green and it's not as obviously fatigued as an olive green. It's just got enough color richness and when I saw Woodland, we were happy. It's an excellent choice and we are also excited about yesterday. You bring the Zimmer to come to Geneva and we have a wonderful night. How you came, came from the idea and how do you feel yesterday? Because I thought you were going to play the piano yesterday when you sit under the stool. Yeah, it was a really, really emotional night. So being a designer, I was always inspired by Hans's music because they carry an atmosphere, they carry a mood. These tunes are really uh, speaking to me in terms of pictures that pop into my head. So it was really helpful for designing. And I finally met Hans in 2019. We realized that we're almost from the same area originally in Germany, and we just connected. And then when we came up with a color concept for Top Gun, I knew that the bit that was really missing was transforming that visual language of the imagery, the videos, and the product into a sound as well to really make that an immersive experience. And to bring that live on stage with the entire tour production for the Live Arena tour here in Geneva for Watches and Wonders is something that in the context of COVID, I didn't believe was actually going to happen. We kept hoping. And then when the crew arrived the day before yesterday and we did sound check and I got on stage, I saw that all these musicians I've been looking up to for years are actually there and Hans is there and everybody is healthy and this was actually going to happen. It's very emotional and yesterday stepping out onto the stage and seeing 850 guests all assembled and it was all working out. It, it's, it was one of the nicest moments I've experienced with IWC and I hope that everybody enjoyed it. How, how did the journey start for you? How did you approach this? Five colors, right? We use diff, a different language to tell a story. I mean, we, you use the watch to tell a story. The watch becomes a part of you and the music is a part of me and then everything has to fit together. If you're going to choose the one color, the Pantone color, to describe yourself, what would you choose? I think I have uh, two different answers to that. I think if you ask me what color I am in terms of feeling, it's definitely woodland green. Uh, my eye color is green. I, I wear, apart from today, I wear a lot of green, and I think this calmness and the deep green speaks to me. 
When it goes about what is my actual favorite, I think at the moment it's really Mojave because it means so much because it started that entire journey. And it was one of my first visits to US Navy when I was inspired by the flight suits, the aircraft, the environment, and I came back and I thought, we need to bring this into the watches. And that was the whole start of that color journey. And I came across a city called Mojave on the way back to LA and I thought, well, this would be the name, Mojave Desert is perfect. And uh, we checked and we could have the name and that really started that entire journey. So from that perspective, that's probably my favorite. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you later.